Hey everyone, it's Chris Crazy House back at it again with more news, reviews, and commentary. And today I'm going to be talking about a story that I read on Cartoon Brew talking about the author, Peter S. Beagle. Some of you might remember him as the author of The Last Unicorn and his legal troubles with re-securing the, the IP intellectual property of The Last Unicorn and bringing it back to himself. So I want to discuss this because I often talk about intellectual properties and how to control your work and how important it is and you definitely want to control it so you don't go through things like this. But before I talk about that, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my Chris Crazy House YouTube channel. Make sure you like my videos and make sure you share them with those you think that will be of any value to. I think they will appreciate, especially when I talk about the art and entertainment industry from my own experience, as well as giving you views, especially from a, a black artist who's been doing this for a long time. So, and if you want to support the channel, make sure you go ahead and go to my Chris Crazy House online store. You can find my comic books, my coloring books, and my posters and stickers all on my online store. You can also purchase my naturally cute coloring books on Amazon.com. Shout out to The Lockbox. Uh, it's a company that does natural hair care products for, for women or for men who have dreadlocks. They've been giving away my coloring books, Naturally Cute 2, as a prize for purchasing or getting their lock box. So if you get like a, a box or a gift basket of their hair care products, my coloring book also is featured in there as well. So it's been a great way to advertise my work, but also a great way for them to sell their products. And I, I very much appreciate that. They've been doing it for the last two months or so. Hopefully they keep it up. I always appreciate new business and new people marketing my work. And if you also want to become a supporter of my YouTube endeavors, you can also become a Patreon. And just go to patreon.com slash chriscrazyhouse and you can become a Patreon for five bucks a month. On my Patreon, you get clip art, you get artwork that you can use for your backgrounds or your, your laptop, desktop, and on your mobile phone. You can also get exclusive coloring pages that you can download, print out, and color for yourself. Thank you very much to the two new Patreons that I picked up in over a week. And thank you to username Roy Rainbow III and also to Rudolph Headley. Thank you very much for becoming Patreons of Chris Crazy House. Hopefully I will get more in the time to come. I've only been advertising my Patreon for maybe the last two months. So just to get any of them at all and people that want to sign on with me and keep up with the work that I produce, I, I very much appreciate that. It means a lot. So getting on to this story, very important story, and I will definitely post a link to it on, on the description box as well as the comment section so you guys can check it out for yourselves. So. The author of The Last Unicorn, Peter S. Beagle, reclaims the rights to work after a long legal battle. So this has been going on for him since 2015, where a manager of his actually took the rights away or somehow convinced him to sign away his rights to his very popular book, The Last Unicorn. And for those who maybe never read the book, you know, it was made into a, an animated film back in the early 80s. I remember it vaguely, I will say. Like, I I watched it maybe three or four times, but it was very, I watched it when I was very young, so it's kind of one of those things that's almost kind of like in the back of my memory. If I see images from it, I remember it. I remember more of the character designs and also the theme song more than I remember anything else from that animated film but it was done by Rankin Bass who also did the the Hobbit animated and I think I think Peter S. Beagle he helped work 
as like a writer for some of those animated versions of The Hobbit and what was the other one? The Return of the King. So I think he actually helped Rankin Bass write some of those as well. But very prolific fantasy writer. And when he created The Last Unicorn, that is a, an intellectual property that continues to bring in money. It has a very loyal fan base. I know this because I went to school with some of the folks that were very loyal and, and loved this film. And I've seen people selling merchandise for it all the time, whether it be t-shirts, keychains, whatever. But the author himself was not receiving all of the, the money and the revenue he should have been receiving from this intellectual property. And like I said, it's because his manager swindled him out of it. Somehow his manager convinced him to sign over some rights and then proceeded to poison people about a Peter S. Beagle's character. It made it seem like he was mentally incompetent and or he was sick or something like that and he should not be able to have control of the rights of his own intellectual property that he created back in like the 60s i believe that's when the book was published so he's been going through this with his manager since 2015 and he finally finally got the his intellectual property rights back and can make some money back now at this point peter s beagle is 81 years old so this is rough to have to deal with something like this when you're elderly. You know, when you're elderly, you should be able to just kind of sit back, relax, and collect whatever dividends that come through based on the work that you've created at this point, right? You shouldn't have to be going back and forth to court and trying to rebuild your reputation knowing that this person ruined it. You know what I mean? That's a lot of stress to put on anyone at any age, but definitely when someone's in there uh, a senior citizen to have to go through all that i can't imagine I, I don't want to go through that so if i can impart anything to you folks make sure that you secure and make sure you protect your intellectual property rights it's just like protecting rights to a, a real property a property that's uh brick and mortar make sure you protect your property rights to your intellectual properties as well Make sure people know who owns it. Copyright it. Make sure if you, you know, if you're doing a deal, make sure your name is still on it. Make sure it's only like a licensing deal or something like that. And, and make sure it's only a certain amount of time where they can have those licensing rights. Make sure you trademark your stuff. Okay. I know that's kind of a, that's a lot of work and sometimes a bummer for artists to do because you just want to uh, worry about creating something. But you know, just protecting, taking that little bit of time to protect those legal rights, that can save you a lot of trouble and heartache later on in life. And I want to make sure you guys always get paid for what you create. Don't let it be something that uh, you get taken advantage of and people take it away from you and they're profiting off your hard work and your, your imagination. Don't let that happen. So I'll post a link to the story. You guys can read it for yourselves or you can just, uh, you know, listen to what I had to say and let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Anyway, guys, Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.